do you suggest the Decommissionate or the Adios Pro 2? Let's find out. Perfect. How's it going guys? I'm Stelvio, this is Coriamone, a community where you can find a lot of passion runners. We are always talking about different uh, uh, running gears, uh, time trials, uh, trainings and races. In this video we're gonna compare two shoes from Adidas, the Takumi Senate, the uh, last release from Adidas and the Adios Pro 2. Both with energy rods but in carbon in the Adios Pro 2 and in plastic in the Takumi Senate. And of course with some differences, for instance uh, uh, the stacking. But before to start, thanks so to all of you who is already uh, subscribed and is supporting the channel, contributing with interesting comments and um, for the others consider to subscribe, you won't miss any new video and uh, you will support the uh, community for free. So let's Let's do it. As usual, an important remark, both pay those shoes I bought with more money and no one is paying me for this review. Let's split the video in three different chapters, a quick comparison of the specs and the running dynamics, a comparison of the hard sole, mid sole, uh, upper and price, and finally the conclusions. Looking at the specs, uh, there is a difference of weight, uh, the Takumi Senate is super light, uh, you won't feel it in your feet, the Adios Pro 2 is still light, uh, but due to the plenty of foam used, uh, it's 30 uh, grams uh, heavier than the Takumi Senate. Uh, then we have uh, an important difference of drop, the Takumi Senate is 6 millimeters in the Adios Pro 2 is uh, 10 millimeters. As I said in the previous video, this kind of uh, difference could be an issue for the runners who have uh, a problem in the curves. Uh, usually I like shoes with uh, um, a drop uh, between 10 millimeters, uh, uh, 8, 10 millimeters, uh, which give a little bit of uh, uh, breed to, to, to my curves. Uh, anyway, in general, for long distance training and races, uh, I always suggest uh, to wear shoes uh, with an higher drop uh, exactly for, uh, for the and last but not least, the difference of the uh, midsole. Uh, both shoes have the midsole uh, made off of the light strike pro form uh, in the entire midsole, um, which is light uh, uh, and is, it is used from Adidas in uh, different shoes uh, at the top of the lineup. The shape and the cutouts of the midsole are different. Uh, as you can see, the Takumi Senate seems to be higher in the mid of the foot, uh, where um, efficient runners are used to, to land, and uh, with a big uh, uh, cutout uh, between uh, the mid and the uh, forefoot for uh, uh, the flexibility, whereas the Adios Pro 2 uh, has a huge uh, stockade, uh, but also a cutout uh, uh, in the mid of the foot uh, for the flexibility and uh, for the weight reduction. So they don't look similar, and they are not. Uh, the feeling is quite different, especially at slow pace, uh, but even at faster pace, in the conclusion, I will tell you which one I prefer in this regard, uh, so stay till the end of the video. Let's check the running dynamic metrics now. For both shoes, I made a different test uh, that you can see here on the left hand side of the screen. I'm wondering how good the new technology of the plastic energy rods uh, can be, especially in comparison with the carbon ones uh, in the Adios Pro 2. I'm talking about these uh, uh, sticks here. If you don't know what uh, these dynamics mean, you can have a look on the left hand side, uh, uh, there is a quick explanation of them. But basically, Basically, we are talking about the response and the efficiency of the um, shoe at different running paces. Oh man, that's impressive, I can't believe it. Uh, the Takumi has the same response than the Adios Pro 2, uh, the line in blue, uh, and uh, it is of course even more efficient considering uh, the lower vertical oscillation, the line in yellow. Uh, that's why I prefer lower stockade shoes and uh, this analytics shows exactly uh, what I mean. The Adios Pro 2 is too much punchier and therefore you are uh, um, jumping more vertically than proceeding forward. Uh, the Takumi Senate uh, on the other hand uh, without plenty of foam, uh, it has the same response uh, despite the uh, plastic 
energy roads uh, which are less stiff and uh, less thick uh, you won't feel them instead uh, in the Adios Pro 2 I felt them a little bit and the Takumi has uh, better efficiency because propel you uh, forward and not vertically uh, that's what I love uh, about uh, the Takumi Sen8 and it offers still a good cushioning uh, and comfort uh, despite uh, the lower stockade uh, so that's uh, I believe is great so Adidas you could consider to use uh, always plastic uh, energy rods instead of uh, the carbon and expensive carbon uh, ones uh, that are more fancy uh, but uh, also more uh, stiff and uh, less uh, flexible than the plastic energy rods only for the first three tests uh, unfortunately the Takumi is not performing as the um, Adios Pro 2 um, in terms of response uh, the Adios Pro 2 seems to be uh, a little bit more responsive uh, at a slower pace but I'm not sure guys if you have been running Running with the Adios Pro 2 at a slower pace, it seems to be in the trampoline, not really comfortable, and in general, much better than the Commission 8 uh, in the change of direction uh, because the Adios Pro 2 is, uh, it is not agile at all. With that being said, I believe we are ready to step into the next chapter. Ready? Go. <laughs> Starting from the outsole, both shoes have a, a thinner layer of continental rubber in the entire midsole, in the entire outsole, which is a good quality material, uh, but a little bit too thin. Uh, Takumi has a thicker uh, layer of continental rubber in the forefoot with a different pattern, which could last longer than the rest of the rubber in the outsole. The spotted foam seems to be uh, slightly more in the Takumi Sen8, uh, uh, but they are pretty similar, I would say. The rubber in the heel of the Takumi Sen8 uh, looks uh, even thinner than the uh, uh, um, the rubber in the Adios Pro 2, so fingers crossed, uh, uh, but unfortunately my prediction is not good uh, for this uh, uh, outsole in terms of durability. The grip is great in both shoes, uh, uh, such a thin uh, layer uh, as a kind of uh, a stick effect under the uh, foot in the road. Let's talk now about uh, the midsole. Uh, we have already uh, seen most of the differences, more flexible and less stiffer than in the Adios Pro 2 for the Takumi uh, midsole. Uh, the lower stockade in the Takumi will make you feel uh, um, the shoe uh, more flexible but for the ground feel and uh, for the training in the track uh, uh, I would use a shoe with a lower stockade uh, like for instance the RC3 which I found perfect for training uh, in the track if you want to know more about this shoe, the RC3, you can find several videos in the in the channel uh, the Takumi Sen8 I believe is more comfortable for a 10k uh, on the road the Takumi is more narrow than the Adios Pro 2 in uh, terms of dimension, in the heel, but even in the uh, forefoot, uh, but still more stable than the Adios Pro 2 uh, thanks to the uh, lower stockade. And despite the huge cutout uh, in the Adios Pro 2, uh, even more pronounced than in the Takumi. The Takumi is better in terms of flexibility and agility. And the upper? What about the upper? First of all, the upper of the Takumi is 50% recyclable. I believe I said already several times in different videos. Uh, but both are pretty uh, breathable. What I noticed is that uh, the fabric material in the Adios Pro 2 uh, has uh, more plastic feel than in the Takumi and um, it leaves more uh, room in the forefoot. Uh, I had the feeling that the Takumi wraps better the, the forefoot as I prefer but uh, I was a bit disappointed about uh, the uh, foot lockdown in the Takumi Sen8, especially in the collar uh, or heel counter. It doesn't lock the foot uh, well uh, as in the Adios Pro 2 which uh, has also a better padding externally and internally than uh, in the Takumi Sen8. The tanks are light in both shoes but I prefer the tank in the Adios Pro 2 because uh, with a small padding uh, assure a better comfort. Both shoes don't have a second line of uh, rings for the laces which is quite important especially for runners uh, who have thinner feet and also for racing. That's a PD, better the Adios 6 in this regard. In terms of price, uh, they are on the same range of price as I said at the beginning, uh, 220 euro uh, for the Adios Pro 2 and 200 euro for the Takumi Sen8. Uh, so both pretty expensive. Um, I would have uh, appreciated the price around 150 euro, especially for the Takumi Sen8, uh, uh, to be more competitive. Anyhow, these are the main differences. As always, uh, it's time for the conclusion. We say that the Adios Pro 2 uh, is heavier. Uh, it won't last longer uh, in the household. It's still responsive, but less efficient than the Takumi Sen8 and costs a bit uh, more than the Takumi Sen8. Whereas the Takumi is super light in everything, um, outsole, upper and midsole, and therefore, uh, it won't last longer either uh, and it is responsive but more efficient uh, lighter flexible and cheaper than the Adios Pro 2 
I would use the Adios Pro 2 for the Marathon. I used already for the Half Marathon and uh, it was performing great. I see that the Commission 8 uh, good for the 5K or maybe even better for the 10K uh, and I'm sure um, it could be uh, fine also for the Half Marathon. I wouldn't use neither the Takumi nor the uh, Adios Pro 2 for training considering the price and the prediction about the durability. In terms of feeling, the Takumi Sen 8 uh, having such a, a stuck a tire in the middle of the foot gives a great feeling uh, especially for those who land on, in the middle of the foot, uh, something that you won't notice in the Adios Pro 2, unfortunately, which is rigid and uh, not flexible, especially at a slower pace. So, no comparison in this regard, the Documission 8 is top despite the foot lock now. I hope this guy was interesting, uh, there are uh, new upcoming models in the uh, next month, uh, so if you won't miss uh, uh, any new video, I suggest you to subscribe and activate the notification bell, you will get notified every time I have something uh, to say about the new shoe. So guys, this is it for today, if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like so to contribute to the channel and trigger the uh, YouTube algorithm, and uh, as usual, thanks for watching, Keep running and uh, till the next time. I've been driving this train, years in this lane. There's no stop in this flame. Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play. How I like rearranged it to my own domain. Yeah, I got what it takes. Made lots of mistakes. Taking shots, skipping breaks. Feeling lost, feeling great. Popping off, singing straight. Never stop, never changed. All the squad here to play. And I've got something to say, yeah. I work hard each and every day. I get lost in the words I say. I don't push pause, no, I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never captain's face I won't stop till I hear him say